I think that's another. Pr- uh, no, Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to November. It is officially November now, which honestly feels so weird to say. Christmas is next month. That's so strange because it just feels like this year just went so quickly. I don't know if it's just me. My room is still currently decorated for autumn. It feels weird to me like getting rid of stuff as soon as Halloween is over. Obviously, if that's what you want to do, do it. But for me personally, like I don't want to rush to get all of my autumn stuff down because my display is just so pretty and I want to savor it for as long as I can. But I also do want to get my tree out and start decorating for Christmas because I'm so excited for Christmas this year. Even though I haven't really thought about it until now, I'm suddenly overwhelmed by childlike excitement. <laughs> I had such a festive day today. I went and I got my nails done. And I know I've just been saying that November is too early to decorate for Christmas, but I couldn't resist getting these. Look how pretty these are. They're like deep red, and then I got some glitters as well. And then I went to Costa and they had their sticky toffee lattes that came out today. So I had a sticky toffee latte, which are amazing by the way, from Costa. And then I had a festive meal deal from Tesco's. <laughs> like their turkey and cranberry sandwiches. So I've had a pretty festive day so far. Perfect for filming my very first Christmas video of 2023, which is of course my winter bucket list. I love doing these every single year and I know that so many people like them as well. This whole year has gone by so quickly. Last Christmas just shot by. It Literally I blinked and it was over and I didn't get a chance to do much from, from last year's Christmas list. I really want to try and just fill as many Christmassy activities as I possibly can into this year. So obviously I've created another bucket list and I'm really excited to share it with you. And I feel like because a lot of these things you need to book, it's always good to start planning them in November or earlier if you can, because then you can book things filled this with so many cozy Christmassy activities and I really hope that if you're struggling to think of ideas that there is something on this list that will give you some excitement and something you can do around Christmas time. So I am just going to stop talking now and I'm just going to go straight into my winter bucket list for 2023. So the first thing is the most obvious one but it's decorating for Christmas. I think this is probably something that everyone does every single year but I still think it's something you can put on your bucket list because it's something to look forward to. I always set a specific date that I want to decorate my room. I did it for the first time a few years ago on my channel and it made my room just look so Christmassy. It made the evenings after I had a nice Christmas bath and I just got up to my room and I watched a Christmas film in bed with a hot chocolate. It was just so special. Visiting a Christmas market. I've already had a look online for different Christmas markets that are open this year. Unfortunately, the one in my city has been cancelled, but there are so many different ones if you're in the UK and I'm pretty sure they probably have them in other countries as well. If you just have a look, you can probably find a really nice one and they've always got those really nice stores that are lit up. They sell mulled wine and hot chocolate and you can buy like handmade Christmas gifts and just really nice little trinkets and stuff. Make yourself a Christmassy or like a winter playlist on your Spotify. It doesn't just have to be Christmas songs if you don't like Christmas songs. There are a few Christmas songs that I can't stand to listen to anymore because they're just a little bit annoying because I've like heard them so many times. But you could throw in some rock music, you could throw in some rap, some classical, whatever you like that reminds you of Christmas. Or you can just put some Mariah Carey in there, some Michael Bublé. Throw all your Christ favourite Christmas songs in there. Find a Christmas lights event in your area. And I don't just mean like looking around at people's Christmas lights that they put up in your neighbourhood. I mean like finding an event that you book tickets for and you go and you see lighting Christmas lights. I'm going to Blenheim Palace this year because they have a Christmas light display. I've been there once before and it was so magical. And I am going to be doing a little vlog on it because it was so beautiful. And they also have a little market in there as well. But just find something like that in your area that you can go to and get it booked because stuff like that books up really fast. Do some festive baking. I always want to bake in the bare months. It just gives me so much motivation to bake because I'm not someone that likes baking. I hate baking, I hate cooking, but when it's Christmas, I want to make some gingerbread cupcakes. I think they're always so much nicer to make in like the bare months to have like a baked a homemade treat. Getting your Christmas nails done. I don't know about you, but when it comes to Christmas, I love going all out glam, like on Christmas day. And even if I don't, like even if I wear like a tracky set and just like a little bit of makeup, having my nails done just makes me feel so 
put together. It just makes me feel so much more elegant and I especially love red Christmassy nails. I think they just look so pretty. Go Christmas candle shopping. One of my favorite activities is going candle shopping. There's something different about Burr month candles, spiced cinnamon, clove and nutmeg candles in the winter time. And I love having a candle on. I have to have a candle on in the Burr months every day. Like I've got one on right now. Visiting a garden center. I feel like garden centers have the most amazing Christmas displays. I've been to quite a few so far and they never disappoint. So you could just visit a nice garden center, go and wander around the displays. You could buy a few decorations if you want to, although they are quite expensive from garden centers. I usually go there just to look at them. Buy some matching pajamas. This is something that I was really excited to do this year because we found the most amazing Christmas pajamas in Sainsbury's. They were the flannel print, like the red flannel print pajamas. They are literally the iconic Christmas pajamas. So go and grab you and your boyfriend or you and your family some matching Christmas pajamas and then you can wear them on Christmas Eve and wake up in your nice new Christmas pajamas on Christmas morning. Have a cozy Christmas bath. There's nothing nicer than when you're out in the cold all day and then you come home and you run yourself a nice warm bath. Light a nice candle, put your Christmas playlist on the background or watch a Christmassy film on your laptop if you trust yourself with your laptop in the bath. Pop in a lush Christmas bath bomb and have a nice warm cozy bath thing. Get out and get all snug and it's so relaxing, isn't it? Make yourself some mulled wine or eggnog. I have never tried eggnog. It sounds disgusting, like the name. I don't actually know what's in it. Lexa, what is in eggnog? A drink made of eggs, milk or cream, sugar, and usually rum or wine. That sounds kind of nasty. <laughs> I'm sure it's probably not. Is it raw egg? Eggnog is made with raw eggs. That sounds gross. <laughs> <laughs> just bashing it. I've added it to my list and now I'm bashing it. Have a Christmas karaoke party. I feel like these are typically like an office thing. Like people have like office karaoke Christmas parties. Or maybe I'm just thinking of the office. Blare out Mariah Carey and sing your heart out. Christmassy meals with the festive menus. There are so many different pubs that you can find that have set Christmas menus. Like they have the starters, the mains that have like Christmas dinner and then the desserts that have like chocolate cake and then you go there and you sit down they've got the little crackers i think this would especially be nice if you there's someone that you can't see on christmas day you could always book to have a christmas meal with them out if you want to so it's like a little christmas celebration you could swap presents there as well create yourself a winter pamper routine i feel like skincare is so important in the winter and i feel like a lot of people need some self-love especially with like sad and stuff going around in the winter so you could get a load of your favorite skincare you could get in your dressing gown you could put like a headband on and just have a really nice pamper Go to Winter Wonderland. I only did this once. I've only done this once in my entire life and it was absolutely amazing. It's one of my favourite Christmas activities I've ever done. If you don't know what Winter Wonderland is, it is a big Christmassy event that they have in Hyde Park in London where they have loads of rides, they have loads of, they have like a little market, they have ice skating, they have an ice sculpture display, they have a big wheel that's got loads of lights on it. We went on some rides, we went ice skating, we drank way too much mulled wine and beer and it was just really nice. Make some Vlogmas videos. If you're just starting a YouTube channel or if you want to start a YouTube channel, this would be perfect. I've just given you a load of ideas. Or even if you don't have a YouTube channel but you want to document Christmas because you love it so much, you could always just get your camera or your phone even and make some Christmassy videos and then you can save them as little memories. Having a paint and wine night but Christmassy edition. So it could be mulled wine. You could sit under the Christmas tree with little easels. Is that what they're called? No. Little canvases. And you could paint some Christmassy pictures. You could paint like Santa on his sleigh riding through the sky that might be a little bit too detailed I'd probably just paint a snowman you could also use your Christmassy picture as like a decoration as well or a gift completely up to you host a Christmassy bring a board night if you don't know what bring a board nights are they're basically where you invite everyone around to your house and every single person brings a like a food board like a board with different food on it and they're usually themed but you could do it Christmassy edition so you could have someone bring a load of Christmassy like sweet treats like Christmas chocolates and Christmas like biscuits and stuff you could have one where someone brought a load of savoury Christmas snacks you could have one where someone brought like a hot chocolate station on a board or something like that but speaking of a hot chocolate station that is the next thing I've got on my list so setting up a little corner you turn into a Christmas hot chocolate station where you have different mugs you have different types of hot chocolate you have whipped cream you have different sauces you have different toppings like marshmallows and sprinkles and all sorts of stuff like that host a friend Christmas evening so a day that's not on Christmas day if you can't see them on Christmas day but where you have like a fake Christmas 
Christmas. You put on a load of Christmas music, you exchange presents, you could even make a little Christmas dinner if you wanted to, or you could just order like a something festive and just have a little mini friends Christmas. I think that's so sweet. Go for winter coffee dates and walks. I think these are so lovely. I think winter walks are so pretty, especially when everything is icy. I know it's obviously really cold, so you'd have to wrap up nice and warm, but go and grab yourself a nice warm drink and just take yourself on a nice winter walk and look at all of the lovely scenery. Make some dried orange slices. I made these, I think, two years, was it two years ago? I actually have a tutorial on it with my Christmas, like, wrap with me, I think, video, where I basically made my own dried orange slices and I used them for decorations for presents and they smelled absolutely incredible. You can make, like, a garland with dried orange slices and hang them somewhere in your room and they'd smell really nice, or you can just hang them on your tree as little, like, baubles as well. Driving around and looking at Christmas lights, I love doing this. Some people go all out and I find it so cute when they decorate the whole front of their house with Christmas lights. They just look so pretty. And especially, again, if you have a nice hot drink and you can take that round with you and just look at all of the lights and just take some really nice pictures. Create yourself a new Christmassy tradition. I think pretty much everyone has their own traditions. They probably do every single year. Me and my mum go and visit this garden centre that we have by us every single year without fail. We also have the same thing for breakfast every Christmas day and stuff like that. Just little things that are pretty much traditions in our family now. And I feel like this would be really nice if you have a new family. If you have like a new baby or something and you want to start a new tradition, that would be so, so special. Exchanging Christmas stockings. I don't feel like everybody has stockings. We we never had them when we were younger. This is a pretty new thing that me and my boyfriend have just decided to start doing. We give each other stockings every year and we open them on Christmas Eve whilst we watch a nice Christmas film and we have some nice food. And it is such a nice tradition that we've created. And I feel like there are some little small things that you get people that you don't want to wrap up because they're so small, it would just seem a bit weird to like wrap them up. The last thing I have on my bucket list is to start planning the new year. I know it's November and it might seem a bit early. This time of year it goes really fast, which is kind of sad, but it does. I feel like it's really important to start planning all of the things that you want to do next year all of the goals that you have all of the resolutions and i am planning on making a few videos with like ideas of how to plan your new year and stuff like that but i think just drawing draw down a few ideas just a few things that you want to learn next year or things you want to do and that was everything that i had on my winter bucket list for 2023 this has made me so excited for christmas like even more than i was before if you were struggling to think of some ideas for things you wanted to do around this christmas season i hope i've given you a few if you haven't already please make make sure to give me a subscribe because it really helps my channel out. I'm going to be coming out with so many gift guides this year. I'm going to be doing about two a week. So keep an eye out for those because they will be coming out on my channel soon. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope you have the most amazing week. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.